Okay, the wiring's complete now on this uh, the pop top solar panel installation. I'll give you a quick look around the back here. So what I did was, you know, fiberglass, oh, the fiberglass, I don't want to drill into the fiberglass, hook into it, just drill right through that stuff, because you know what, if it doesn't go right, you can always fiberglass it back up. So, conduit's coming out there, through the inside, uh, through the fiberglass, I should say, there's a gland here on the roof, and there's enough sort of space inwards and outwards that this cable's just going to fold into this area here when the pop top comes down, and then we've just got... Conduit chuffing across the roof, under the panel, up and onto the panel. Now I've got a series of little brackets again with lots of elastic. Don't touch it, idiot. That's still wet. And then I've left a fair bit of slack, so that's the last bracket there. So there's a fair bit of strain relief for the cable because this panel tips both ways. So we want to be able to reach the panel, obviously, and not pull it out when we're erecting the panel. Then on the inside of the van. We have the cable coming in through another gland and yet more Solastic. The same little conduit holding brackets chase along that shelf there then it just pops down this pillar here. There's a couple of bits of Velcro that were already on the van. I might put a strap across there. Drilled a hole through there. This is just part of the bed frame. And then it goes down into, okay, circuit protection. Very important stuff. Uh, this is a DC circuit breaker. I've put it on the positive and the negative. I don't think you necessarily need to do that, but I have just because I had that in stock uh, from a previous project. So that's 16 amp. It's a little bit bigger than it needs to be, but that's okay. Um, that goes out to the charge controller. Then this other one comes in from the charge controller. Whee, nice camera work. And we've got another circuit breaker here, different style. Um, and I didn't have a casing for this because this is Yankee Doodle Dandy style. This is a midnight one And they're a slightly different size to the ones we have here in Australia. So yeah, uh, this isolates the battery And this one isolates the panel very important circuit protection must have must have also be aware that uh, these uh, midnight circuit breakers have a flow uh, how's the best way to say this? They have a flow direction, um, and I don't think they're unidirectional. They only work one way. Then around the front here, I've mounted this here because my girlfriend, whose van this is, does not like blinking LEDs at night when she's trying to sleep in her van. So you can see they've got the little orange light on, which means it's in bulk, bulk charge phase. You've got a series of dip switches up the top left there. Come on, baby, focus for me. Not gonna focus, are you, you bugger? There we go. Oh, come on. Anyway, uh, I've set it to the sealed battery option. There's two options for uh, sealed charging regime. And she's mounted and away. She's in action. And you can see that there is not too much sun going on at this stage of the day. See you later.